So hello every everybody. Today I have the image captioning project. So the main idea is the following: uh, we will create the neural network, and as input to this neural network, take the picture, and as output, this uh, this neural network create for us the image captioning of of this picture or picture uh, picture description. Um, you can find a lot of tutorials in the, in the Google about the image captioning with uh, more or less details. But in my uh, so normally uh, you will have the the image and you will have the image description. Then normally you will create the encoder like a small convolutional neural network and uh, this. Uh, this encoder uh, as output uh, create the vectors and this vector uh, uh, we take as output uh, to our um, RNN network. But in my case, uh, I just uh, take the um, image Coco dataset and in my case, I already have vector after the convolutional neural network. If you don't, so it's uh, it's kind of easy create just uh, simple. In a network and create and cre uh, create the vectors. So let's go. Uh, so here I just uh, all all of my training I will do in uh, Google Colab. Uh, it take me sometimes maybe less than an hour, maybe at least two hours. I mean the the final training. So I just create the path and do all necessary stuff. Just uh, import the necessary libraries, dependencies, and so on and so forth. I will use the famous MS Coco dataset with image and the description. As, as, as you see, I have the vector. Instead of the image, it's uh, 2084 unit vectors. Like here, it's the example, and for every picture, uh, you can have uh, five description of this picture. In my case, I uh, I show you later, but I will use one of these uh, five description. I just uh, will uh, choose the description by uh, random number. Then I will do the preprocessing text stuff. I will do it uh, by my hand uh, for the sake of understanding what does it mean and how it works uh, in, inside the hood, but uh, you can do uh, but you can do it uh, with any any famous library uh, like like anything. So I just uh, test uh, the average length of my sentence. It's about uh, eleven words. As easy as see median and mean absolutely uh, very very close. Then I will create the list of the um, list of the vocabulary. And uh, I will have the vocabulary vocabulary about uh, twenty nine thousand, and just I just filter this vocabulary and just uh, delete uh, the words with uh, which uh, which um, appear for less than five five times, and after this uh, deleting, I, I I will have about nine and a half thousand uh, words vocabulary. Then I uh, add to my vocabulary uh, start uh, and end uh, tokens and the padding tokens also. And I just do the vocabulary dictionary here. Uh, and as uh, as final, I will create the, um, all of my sentence lengths of, uh, of sodiums. And if sentence is bigger, I just uh, cut. And uh, as as last symbol, I just add the end uh, token and sentence token. And I just create the batches. And the final re result is the following. Uh, you can see so the for the image uh, 675. Just I just take this image as, as random. You you have the five five description, zero it's a token of the start sentences, uh, one it's token of the end sentence, and three is the padding, uh, padding token. 
you see all my sentence is equal size of sodium and the image vector it's a uh, it's a uh, num by array with floats what I will do next I will create the neural network for the working I will use the uh, the main the main layer is my network. It's a LSTM network. I will use the input hidden size and with uh, with batch first row. I just do it. Uh, so the main um, uh, the main idea here in this forward method, is, you see, I just take the image vector as it is and create the long tensor because uh, before that we have the um, we have the just uh, float arrays and I just take the captioning uh, captions embedding uh, which we have the as input in our forward path yeah so embedding yeah. and then I just uh, create the image embedding because uh, because we have the image vector I just uh, create from the image vector uh, just uh, image embedding and then I just uh, create the ten, uh, tensor as sum of the image vector and the captioning uh, image embedding of the first, um, first dimension so here is the most important part of this forward method and of for, for uh, from all this neural network you uh, you should uh, combine two two vectors and very very important it's the uh, order of this combining the first should be image vector and the second should be the captioning embedding vector not the opposite only in this um, in this in this order and as you see I just uh, cut the last um, last word in my uh, captioning embedding because uh, we need to predict the last work uh, word word by word his uh, wrong, uh, wrong dimension then I uh, put all all uh, my, my embedding and uh, here the initialization to my LSTM network and as output I will have the the, the logit here the computers so here just a small helper function uh, so I will do my teaching uh, teaching loop without it but I just created uh, here I just create uh, create the data set uh, by my own uh, and uh, create the data loader data loader with the um, custom collate function so the main idea I in this uh, collate function I just um, uh, pick the random number and uh, just uh, just take only one uh, captioning uh, from the five of each image and here I just uh, create the data set and create the train data loader and here I just uh, because I train uh, my model several times and I load and um, save and load all my necessary stuff to the Google Colab and here I just uh, load load my model and uh, the weight of, weights of my model from for my call up, I just uh, train on CUDA because it's uh, really fast in this case. I hear the wrong order because I have to to create device and then model and not not the opposite. Um, as the optimizer, I take the Adam optimizer as the criteria, and I cr I take just pr uh, ordinary cross entropy loss and very very important. As you remember, my uh, padding token has number three, and cross, entr uh, cross entropy loss have to ignore the padding. So uh, before of that, I just uh, just created the ignore index in, in three. In this case, my cross entropy loss will ignore the padding tokens. Here, the here just my uh, my small uh, training loop. I just uh, 
just zero all my gradients, take the image and captioning, uh, put it to the model, uh, uh, put it on, uh, put uh, the output uh, and the targets to the criterion, create the loss and uh, backward loss and create the optimizer step and so on and so forth. Then uh, we will do uh, we will do the following for the uh, picture creation uh, creation bedding. We take the uh, inception uh, network, but it's uh, inception uh, without the last layers. So we just uh, use inception as 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 a um, encoder to create the um, vector saw embedding from from the uh, from the picture. So and then we create the description. So it's the generate description function. Uh, we put the image vector or image embedding after the inception. And uh, in my case, uh, my this function generate me description word by word. Uh, and here I will use the greedy uh, greedy sampling. I uh, I just uh, take only the words with the highest prob probability. And here is my result. I just uh, upload some random picture. Here is a man riding on skateboard, skateboard, but I just uh, train uh, my model so about 13 or 14 epochs. And here, here is the result. It's it's more or less good, and, and I see that uh, my ne my network can can create some more or less good description in here. A woman in, in pink dress, and so more or less it's okay. A group of uh, women serve balls, so uh, holding a frisbee on his yeah, a woman frisbee dogs and. And here's a chair pick, a group of men standing in little front leg. So <laughs> this is one of the best. I try to train my network more and more uh, epochs. And in some pictures, it's, uh, it creates me more better description. In some pictures, it creates a little bit worse. But anyway, here is my result. And thank you very much for the looking on this video. Thank you. Bye.